Welcome back, Foulmouth Fishing family. Uh, I'm excited today. So, today in the mail, I got two packages that I've been anxiously uh, awaiting. Uh, one from a good friend of the show who sent these out to me with some special treats, and uh, one that I ordered from a certain warehouse of tackle, or tackle warehouse. Um, this one has been a long time coming. Um, I do some heavy angling every now and again, some larger fish, larger game fishing, and I got a specific reel in this today, a special gift to myself, uh, that I've been waiting to get. So, uh, uh, I don't know, what should I open up first? Uh, um, we'll save this later, because this, this here is a special gift to one of you. So, uh, well, there's something in there that's going to be a special gift, gift to one of you. So, first, we'll start off with the Tackle Warehouse box. Get a little blade here. And <clears throat> with spring coming around the corner, the water's going to start warming up shortly. Uh, not that that's obvious because the temperature has been doing a yo-yo all, all month long. But uh, yeah, see? Haven't even opened it yet. So, uh, uh, packaging, uh, invoices, paper I don't need. <laughs> a return in case anything goes wrong. So with spring coming around the corner, and uh, me wanting to be in preparation of the topwater bite when it does come in, in midsummer, uh, I've decided to pick up some colors of River to Sea Whopper ploppers that I didn't quite have in my small little uh, topwater whopper plopper box, which I'm working on creating a delegated, dedicated whopper plopper box. So uh, I decided to pick up um, a River to Sea's Whopper Plopper 130. Uh, this is, uh, you know, this is that bonish color, yeah, bone, so I got that, um, not that any of you haven't seen these on a thousand and one other shows, but what got me is I love the little blood tail on the end of the, of the bone color, so it has that, I'm sticking myself in the finger, <laughs> it has that, uh, that blood little lip on the corner to the bone, uh, so that's, that's their, like I said, that's a, a 130. Right I got also in the same size, uh, the 130, I've got the, crif, the crawfish color because everybody knows red is uh, definitely a color that catches. So let me get you out of here. So I got the crawfish color. And that white belly on that red. Tiger stripe crawfish color is definitely going to, or I should say, orangey chartreuse belly. Um, that's definitely going to uh, to catch fish. So the bone kind of gives you a chartreuse color. The orange red bass love orange red for some strange reason. Um, I got because I didn't have one in the new 75 color or 75 size. I grabbed a 75. And this one is, this is the chrome black. So, so here's a Whopper Plopper 75 in the chrome black color. I, I do like this profile, that larger um, puffed up chest as opposed to the, the more streamlined bullet, bullet shape, shape that they have. So I got that just to have the smaller um, profile. And the piece de resistance, uh, Tackle Warehouse is having a sale. It's actually a two for sale, which is why I jumped on this. Uh, again, this is something that, uh, they gave me a little sticker, uh, something that I've been wanting for a while uh, for a big game reel, which I, I have up there um, a medium heavy, uh, moderate action rod. It's a pen surf rod, so it's a saltwater rod. Um, and it's pen. If you've been a saltwater fisherman, you know pen reels, pen products have, have they're, you know, they're, they're rock solid. Um, but I didn't have a reel for it, and I don't really intend to use this one specifically for saltwater. I have other saltwater reels and rods, um, but I wanted to get a reel specifically for that for throwing in a little bit of freshwater climate. Um, and I got something specifically for that coming up in a second. So um, they have a two for sale. Right now, if you buy certain qualified reels and uh, I think it's also certain rods and certain merchandise, they list 
things that you can get. Uh, for example, you get, I picked up an Abu Garcia. This is their new Revo 40. So this is a, um, uh, a new re uh, bait casting reel by Abu Garcia that came out this, I think this past year. Um, it is a monster when it comes to drag. Um, so we'll get to that when I open it up. But when I purchase the rod or the, the reel uh, for two extra bucks, they give you a little reel cover, which is always good to have, um, especially if it's a, a reel that you're not going to keep all the time out in you know on your boat or, or out fishing with it on a daily basis. If you're going to put it aside and only bring it out on special occasions, you know maybe go out on a on a week uh, fishing tour uh, tour and then you're going to put it up for two or three weeks and you might bring it back out. Definitely make sure you you clean it, you take care of it, and you put on a cover, especially during the winter. If you're not going to fish with it during the winter. While it's sitting dormant, it's protected. It keeps the dust and things out of it. But um, the reason I got this, which pretty much anybody who buys this reel, the reason you're getting it, is its testimonial is it carries a 30-pound max drag. So 30 foot-pounds of maximum drag on this reel. So, there you go. Ran spanking new. Still got a sticker on the inside. <laughs> new it's a little red mirror says new um yeah so this is i purchased their 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 slower gear retrieval um i picked purchased i think it's a five let's see if it's listed on here five eight to one so it's a five revolutions or 5.8 revolutions of the spool for every one revolution of the handle so i'll bring in five revolutions worth of line whatever that equates to in, in meters um for every reel of my handle the reason I picked up the lower gear ratio 5 instead of a higher uh, gear ratio, which this does come into, I think it's a 6 and a, I think they have a 6 and a 7 gear um, ratio reel for this. But uh, I wanted this to be more of a slower working, um, large fish, you know, just torque. I want a little more torque. I didn't want to retrieve really fast. That's not really the purpose. I can still crank fast if I need to pull in the line quickly to, to throw another uh, cast out. But um, I wanted something that was a powerhouse for uh, for pulling larger baits in the you know three, four, and five ounce range, um, and this definitely is capable of doing that. Now, little disclaimer: this attests to have a thirty pound drag. You never, ever, ever fish this at thirty pounds of drag. If you have anything pulling thirty pounds of drag on your reel. You shouldn't be fishing with a reel. You should be, you know, long lining on a boat. Um, it does come with a little, a little uh, oil, which is always great. Abu Garcia supplies great things, and it comes with a power handle, which I was well aware of before getting this. That is, I'm sorry, Abu Garcia. No discredit to you, but this is the dumbest thing I've ever heard of in my life. Um, there's a counterbalanced, um, you know, the single pad handle which is normally designed for anglers like myself who would be, say, jerking the bait. Uh, if you're jerking a bait, you can rotate your reel in your hand as you're pulling that rod, twitching that rod down off the boat. So rather than crank, twitch, crank, twitch, you can actually take in your slack as you're jerking the jerk bait or pulling that, that deep diving lipped crank bait down with one hand. And these are great. Uh, the power handles are great for that because... With the double handle, as you're coming, you can catch your, your wrist as you're twitching your rod. Or you're holding your hand out sort of like this to keep it out of the way of that second ro you know, handle rotating around. With this counterbalanced power handle, that allows you to do that without worrying about the, the knob coming back and catching your wrist. Um, however, the other great aspect of this, and what more, most people normally equate it for, is a larger lever on the reel gives you more... Uh, you know, more advantage, uh, more mechanical advantage. So if you have something that's hitting the bottom, like you have a huge flat, you know, flat bottom fish, uh, say you got a string stingray and you're trying to pull it off and it's suctioned down to the muck and mud, um, the larger handle gives you just that added little bit of advantage for cranking that thing and breaking it free and getting it up off the surface or off the, off the bottom towards the surface so that you can try to haul it into a to shore or into your boat. The problem that I found out about this before I bought it, and I was well aware, 
is this is one of the few times I've ever seen a real company make their power handle the same dimensions as their standard. If that's the point, they should have just supplied a removable counterweight and had this had one of these two handles simply attached and detach, and you could just substitute in the power weight and or the the uh, yeah the, the 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 weight to just alter the handle, and then you only have one extra thing off to the side. Typically, your power handle has a longer shank length, even if it's only three or four millimeters or one or two millimeters. That little mechanical advantage that you would get from that counterbalanced handle is massive. So I don't know why this power handle isn't three millimeters, five millimeters longer, um, as well as being, you know, counterbalanced. Uh, so I hope Abu Garcia gets that in their head that they don't do this again, and that in the future, uh, any power handles at least give you a few extra millimeters of length um, to give you that, that mechanical advantage. But uh, I'm going to be interested in definitely putting this uh, on the rod I got up there, and uh, I'll show you. I'll probably, you know, I'll definitely be tearing it out and showing you guys and me fishing with it in an upcoming video. Um, but that was my big gift to myself. This is not. I do spend money when it is um, valuable. And uh, the other part of this, not only do you get uh, a reduction on your uh, on your little reel cover, which will go with that when I store it, but uh, most importantly, and something that I've desperately been needing. Uh, to upgrade. Uh, with the purchase of this uh, and with your receipt, there is a, um, you get a $100 value Abu Garcia brand PFD. And this is sort of my PSA about PFDs. Um, personal flotation devices. If you're an angler and you're going out on the water, I don't care if you are an Olympic champion swimmer. I don't care if you're fishing in a pond that is, you know, two feet deep or 20 fathoms. I don't care if you're out in the middle of, of the Mississippi River and you're waiting. If you have the, uh, the intent to go out fishing for any period of time, especially if you don't know what every single species of fish in that waterway is, wear a personal flotation device. If you are on a boat, on a vessel, deep sea, onshore, inland, it doesn't matter, lakes, rivers, or estuaries, if you're on a boat, wear a PFD, for God's sakes. M way too many people, including a personal friend of mine who, uh, whom I knew, who was part of the TV series on Discovery Channel um, for Deadliest Catch, who came out of Manahawka, New Jersey, um, you lose your lives very quickly at, you know, at sea. It doesn't take much, even the most experienced uh, swimmer, even the most experienced fisherman. Um, you don't expect what certain things can happen. In the cold weather months that we're coming out of, cold water can shock you. You lose dexterity. You lose muscle control. You lose the ability to flounder, and, and you panic, and you can't tread water, and you will drown if you are preventative and, and proactive and wear that PFD, even though it doesn't look cool. Hey, man. It'll save your life. And and for me, for a child to grow up to see his 20th birthday, or for a 45-year-old man to make it home to see his children, um, the little thing of looking like a dork with a PFD is better than looking like, uh, you know, an ice cube on a slab in, in, a, um, in a, a mortuary um, facility. So, please, if you have the means... You can get them inexpensively at, you know, your Walmarts and your, your, your different stores, different tackle stores. Um, at least get a basic PFD, and when you're on the water, have it there. Wear it if you can. I understand that the cheaper PFDs, they don't, they're not, they don't a lot, a lot of moment, movement, especially if you're fishing and you're an angler and you're trying to turn. And you, might, you might have your vest on. You might be a fly fisherman. You got your fly vest on. Um, I know it's inconvenient. But um, the, the biggest inconvenience is not worth loss of life. Uh, and then, God, God bless Tackle Warehouse that they have this promotion going. Um, this is going to be one of those autofill uh, little capsules of compressed air. Um, 
you know, expand, self-expanding PFD. So if I fall in the water, I pull the cord and it inflates and it'll inflate for me, um, which is a, a great technological advancement like this rod or this reel. Um, technology is ever expanding. So uh, this Revo Beast 40 is going to be great. It's a 5.81 ratio. Um, its retrieve rate is 27 inches, so 27 on every revolution, 30 pounds or 14 kilograms of maximum drag. Again, you get a reel that has 30 pounds drag, don't expect to go over 18 to 22, okay? If you run this at 30 pounds and anything takes it at 30 pounds or you get hung up and you're yanking on it at 30 pounds forcefully, once you get anywhere near that max range that this is set up to be, to be horsing at, you're going to strip out, uh, you know, drag bearings, uh, main gear is going to get bunged up and, and tweaked and, and, and brass or not. The, the, the mesh on these is so microscopically well made, especially high-end Abu Garcia's and, and high-end brands, um, that you'll, you'll, you'll tweak it just a little bit and you'll get little burrs on it. And that lends to future problems down the line. You might not notice it right now, but five, six, seven, eight, ten years down the road, and these are, these are purchases that you want to last. You want to pass something like this down to your child or your grandchild or your best friend or for some reason, maybe down the future, sell this and buy the next generation of great reels. Um, but understand that, yeah, if you run this at 30 pounds uh, and you get 30 pounds drag pulling on it, um, you're going to screw this up. First off, you're, you're definitely going to burn out the drag washers. Even though these are uh, composite carbon fiber drag washers, uh, I'm under the assumption that not all of them are. Probably the drag stack, um, maybe four or five of them on the outside are probably carbon fiber, but the ones closest uh, are probably just felt or, uh, you know, your standard uh, materials. Um, maybe I can crack this open and, and exchange and put a full carbon fiber setup in it. Uh, I'll, I'll look online. There is, a, there is one person I haven't known to see yet, but uh, he does uh, reviews and, and breakdowns and teardowns of reels, and he's an excellent, knowledgeable person of this kind of stuff. Uh, I don't typically tear down reels, uh, unless I know exactly what I'm getting into, and I always look at uh, YouTube or Google or whatever and try to find out the schematics and the makeup before I start meddling with something. Because it only takes one mistake, it won't go back correctly, and you've ruined a perfectly good reel. And I'm certainly not going to touch this until after the warranty's over with. Um, that being said, so protect your stuff, protect your equipment, and protect yourself. Get a PFD. So I'm looking forward to taking this and using that uh, the mail mail in and get my uh, my new PFD, and I'll, I'll show you guys that once it comes in the mail. Um, for this, I decided again. You saw a previous episode. I got a whole bunch of new larger baits, so I got me this bad boy whopper plopper. And this is something most people don't have. There's a few anglers out there. Uh, myself included, that that do, that do throw them. Um, I need a new one. My other one is long gone. So, uh, this is the River to Sea Whopper Plopper. This is their big boy. And I'm hung up in the plastic. It's so big, it tried to escape its own packaging. Right, let's twist so I don't tear up the burr. So that's their big monster Whopper Plopper. <laughs> So uh, I'm, I'm definitely going to be throwing this out because I know there's pike and muskie in the water that I fish and there's big bass and large bass that aren't monsters, uh, you know, six, eight, four, five, six, eight pound bass will bite this. Um, a four pound bass will come up and eat this. It's not so big because the thing about these whopper ploppers that I've been told uh, from a friend is that this the, each whopper plopper has its own sort of sound. Um, obviously there's the silent and the rattle versions. This one has that rattle in there. But the whopper plopper tail itself, this larger profile tail is going to have much more of a muted large flop, um, you know, coming off the water, um, as opposed to the smaller versions which might have a higher pitched vibration that they'll send out. So this has a different presentation in sound, not just profile. And that goes across all the different sizes of Whopper Plopper, from the big boy to that that new one, that little 75 there. Uh, you know, ev everything um, has its place. So uh, just for comparison, so there's the 75, and still have frame, is that monster. 
I mean, the 75 is basically the dimensions of the tail alone on, on this bait. Um, so that being said, I'm going to have fun throwing this. All right. And the piece de resistance. This one I really have been waiting for. That, those are candy for me. This is this is candy for you. Like I said, um, I intend to do uh, giveaways on the channel, especially once I reach that 1,000 threshold. Uh, I'm going to give a $100 Visa gift card to uh, one subscriber on my 1,000th subscriber uh, video. So the faster I grow and get to 1K, as my appreciation to you, I'm going to give somebody $100. They can go out and have dinner, um, go get some baits and tackle if you want, go get some hunting supplies if you hunt, uh, go get some hair supplies if you do hair and makeup. I don't care. Buy your wife, uh, you know, something nice. A couple flowers, a bottle of wine, stay in for the night. Um, whatever is your thing. But this, uh, this I contacted a person on, um, on Twitter. Uh, if you don't have my Twitter feed, the link will be down in the bottom. Um, but I contacted him on Twitter. He does hand painted, not airbrush, hand paint. He actually paints with a little, uh, needles and, and, uh, toothpicks and that kind of thing. Um, paints. So he, uh, he sent this to me with some goodies, it looks like. Okay. All right. So, wow, well, I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> so I contacted him with my logo and as a gift to, uh, to a special viewer, um, I'm going to, I'm going to say on my 500th, when I get 500, um, subscribers, right now I think I'm at 200, 205, something like that. So I need 300 more subscribers, active, locked in subscribers. So check out my channel, watch a few of my videos, watch my, you know, my five minute video all the way through. Leave a comment on that video. Subscribe to my channel and thumbs up that video or any of the videos in my playlist. Um, just be an active subscriber. Uh, when I've reached that 500 subscriber, uh, I'm going to give away this particular bait right there um, to, that, to a random lucky subscriber. Um, but we'll get to that. I'll show you that at the very end. Right now, we'll see what he gave me as goodies. These things I, weren't expect I was not expecting. Um, so he gave me a... Square bill crankbait. This is a crawfish color. Good season for that. There's a nice little square bill, hand painted. Crawfish color, chartreuse on the bottom. It's got a little glitter on the top. A lot of glitter on the top. That's good. Nice shiny. He is obsessed with those hooks, those trapper hooks, those custom square, one of a kind trebles and they have a whole series of hooks they have trebles they have i have some uh, worm hooks um there's a rattle with this it's got a good rattle to it i'll be interested in throwing that but he loves these trapper hooks so he sets up all his uh most of his rigs with trapper he gives you an option you can do trapper hooks or you can do um i think he used gamagatsu um i wasn't expecting this this was a freebie god bless him thank you so that's great showmanship there he also gave me a jig head Here's a, oh, I like that. Whew. All right, so we got really stout, stout hook right there on a weedless. Got the, you know, the broom, broom feathered weed guard. But now there's a paint job for you. So that's an all custom painted jig head. I'll have to clear out that eye hole a little bit. Little googly eyes. All clear coated on. That ain't going nowhere. That is an amazing job. He's got some glitter on, on the white side. I don't know if this camera's picking it up, but there's a little glitter on the on the top half of it too. That was another unexpected uh, thing. Great big profile. That'll catch a big bass. I might trim those down a little bit on the top. Maybe not. We'll see. I'll throw it as is and see what I catch if I get bites. But that's a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful pattern. White, black, and blue. So that was that. And the two things that I particularly ordered, again, keeping in the whopper plopper motif. So, I don't know what's caught on the bag. 
I got two logo custom painted whopper ploppers with my foul mouth fishing logo from my Twitter account. Again, he went with the trapper hooks. So, there's another. This one's in a chartreuse green, all custom painted with red flake on the bottom. Custom eyes. Mean looking scowl. So he gave me, I bought this one and I ordered one specifically for a fan and a slightly smaller because um, I don't know what your waterways might produce. You might produce big bass or small bass or, or uh, crappie or whatever, but know that you know mid, mid sized baits get all ranges of, of fish sizes. Small fish go after them, big fish go after them. And I went with his crawfish tone. So one lucky subscriber and viewer active is going to win a foul mouth fishing logo painted custom one of a kind whopper plopper so a big appreciative shout out to uh mackie there martise lures so you've got martise lures uh martise at gmail dot or martise lures at gmail dot com and he's martise lures on on twitter which is where I contacted him. He does absolutely phenomenal work uh, on his baits. Um, he does do customs for, you know, uh, periodically. He doesn't do it all the time, I don't believe, but uh, I was gracious enough to catch him when he was willing to do some, some custom art for some certain people. Um, so, stay tuned. Like, share, and subscribe. Get me to 500, and at 500, a lucky person is going to be able to take home this whopper plopper. So uh, I hope I hope that uh, it's a little uh, tantalizing to somebody. I'm kind of upset. I should have got <laughs> should have got the crawfish color. I love that pattern. That is an an epic epic color. This trapper hooks look badass. <laughs> so uh, God bless you. I hope this was informative, uh, especially with the reel. I'm going to load that up with some. Um, probably some 30 pound mono and then uh, as backing just to fill up part of the reel and then throw some braid on it, probably some 65 or 80 pound braid uh, afterwards and then run a leader off of that. But uh, we'll see what that looks like when it's done. Until then, God bless, like, share, subscribe, join the foul mouth fishing family. Uh, I want to grow this channel. I want to continue to grow this channel for many, many years to come. I want to educate and inform and entertain as much as possible. I've done some some things. I've do, I'm doing a few DIY things that I'm actually experimenting. I made um, a little lure uh, that I'm going to try out and see if it works. If it does, then I'll break down how I did it and why I did it um, and the cost that came of it because it's kind of a specialty lure. It's not something everybody wants to throw. But uh, it was fun. And I like to tinker around and do things. So I hope this was informative from me to all of you, the 200 plus that have already subscribed. I'm very grateful um, and I appreciate it and I hope you tune in constantly. Um, I'm not a big live person, but I might do some live uh, lives every once in a while. I certainly will do a live for the 500 uh, subscription winner. I will do a live for the 1,000 subscription winner uh, of that gift card um, and in future future uh, giveaways I'm certainly going to do a live because I want I want the interaction um, for the people. I want you to have your chance and know that I'm not BSing. So God bless. This is Foul Mouth Fishing from my heart to you. Tight lines. Keep fishing.